Can I take one? Recently at CES, CEO of Siemens presented during the keynote about their extended partnership with AWS. He talks about how customers can easily leverage generative AI using Mendix. Here at the Evangelist team, it's our job to bring the Mendix technology to life through demonstrations, videos, and blogs. We felt it was important for everyone to understand the art of the possible when it comes to Mendix and AI. This is why we set out to build a demo that showcases how Amazon Bedrock and Mendix can be used to solve several use cases. Amazon Bedrock is the easiest way to build and scale generative AI applications with foundational models. It provides many generative models out of the box, from stable diffusion for image generation to cloud for content writing. We want to see how multiple foundational models through one bedrock connector could be used together to build a unique customer experience. To help bring this to life, we decided to see how generative AI and Mendix could help improve the customer experience for a customer of Cacti Insurance, one of our fictitious demo brands. The Cacti Insurance customer portal is designed to allow customers to quote, adjust and ask questions about their insurance coverage. Let's now jump into the app to see what it looks like. To improve customer interaction, we developed the Cacti bot. The chatbot is connected to Amazon Bedrock and allows customers to ask questions about their policy details. The chatbot leverages a combination of Cloud and Titan foundational models to allow the bot to use the right type of model for the job at hand. The bot is also context aware because it has access to the customer data, enabling customers to ask questions about their policies or even make changes via the bot. Next, we felt it would be interesting to see how we could improve conversion rates of selling new insurance products by creating unique adverts for customers. The app is aware of what policies a customer has or doesn't have. By using contextual information about the customer and their products, we're able to call a stable diffusion model to generate unique adverts for the customer. In addition, we are able to use another model, like Titan, to create some compelling copy for the advert. Combining these models allows Cacti to provide a unique customer experience and improve their upsell conversions. One of the major benefits of using AI is that it can help simplify and summarize very complex information based on certain parameters. Therefore, we have created the Cacti Assistant. The red animated icon indicates that Cacti is able to perform some actions for us. Clicking it brings up a number of options. Insurance policy conditions for many can often seem very long and difficult to understand. Inside the portal, customers can get a summary of their conditions in a format they may understand. We feed the AI information about the customer so that it's able to summarize it in a way that the customer is most likely to understand. This is another great example of how AI can help the experience of customers without it being via a traditional chatbot. The last scenario I would like to highlight is the Cacti bot's ability to generate email templates. Ensuring that multiple parties are able to effectively communicate with each other about an insurance policy can often be a challenge. This is where the combination of Mendix data and LLM from Amazon Bedrock allows us to help pre-fill information for an email, which could be sent to the insurer about a renewal or a third party during a claim. We have seen how the combination of Amazon Bedrock and Mendix can significantly improve customer engagement and retention for Cacti Insurance. But let's take a deeper dive into how this is accomplished and how you can do the same yourself. Here inside Mendix Studio Pro, we can download the AWS Bedrock Connector from the marketplace. You will find the AWS Bedrock Connector and an AWS Bedrock Example implementation to help you get started. Additionally, there is comprehensive documentation provided for more information. Once the module is downloaded, you can begin setting the AWS access keys. If you don't have an AWS account yet, you can easily create one. After logging in, navigate to the search bar and type I am, then click on it. On the left side, you will find access management, where you can access users. Here you can create a new user and associate the necessary keys. Once the user and group are created, Associate AWS Bedrock with this user group to grant access. 
navigate to the Permissions tab of the user group, click Add Permissions and then Attach Policies. Search for Bedrock in the list, select Full Access and attach the policies. With the access key created, return to Studio Pro. Open your app settings and navigate to Configurations. Here you can select the active configurations and go to the Constants tab. Add new constants for the access key and the secret key, then paste the newly generated credentials here. To demonstrate how easily Bedrock can be implemented in Mendix, I will build a cool feature using Stable Diffusion. Let's enhance the app's experience for Cacti customers by adding an avatar generator, allowing portal users to create their own unique avatars using AI. When logged in as a user and navigating to the My Account page, you will see an empty avatar on the right side with an option to edit. I've implemented some basic logic in fonts to enable avatar functionality for users. Clicking on Edit User will trigger a pop-up screen where you can provide a description of your desired avatar. Below that, there's a Generate button, which we will utilize with Bedrock. Let's head to Studio Pro. We will create a Generate Microflow for this button. First, we need to check if there is a description provided. If so, we can proceed with the credentials check. Simply drag and drop the Get Static Credentials microflow. Next, we will use the pre-made microflow for Stable Diffusion called Invoke Stable Diffusion Excel. Drag and drop this into our Generate microflow. All that is left is to decode the outcome to a file, ensure our app user had a profile picture, creating one if necessary, and duplicate this newly created file with the avatar generated by Stable Diffusion Excel. And we're done. Now, Let's save it, run our project, and return to the account page to test the microflow we have just created. It's as simple as drag and drop. In this video, we have seen how Mendix makes it easy for you to use AI to improve your customer experiences. We saw how the Cacti customer portal was able to help with questions, summarizing complex documents, performing actions, and helping to upsell new products. If you are interested in learning more about how to use Amazon Bedrock in your apps, then check out the learning path and documentation available via the Mendix website. If you enjoyed this content, show your support by subscribing to our channel, liking this video and leaving a comment. Thank you.